um hey guys so welcome to this tutorial so basically this tutorial is going to cover how to deploy kafka on docker and then um play with it a little bit so create like a producer and then a consumer to play with it yeah so um let me see if i can open the code so yes so this is the code let me blow it up a little bit so you have like a docker compose file and then we basically define like the zookeeper and then the the kafka um container basically so we are taking the image from this guy that built this docker um image for us and the zookeeper as well so for that we have the links actually we have the links here which i'll put them in the description so this is the zookeeper i think it published it like four years ago um not really yeah four years ago that was like the late, the most updated one but we what we are focused on is a kafka which has like uh so you can see like the last updated is actually four months ago so this is what we will be using and um yeah so that, there's a lot of documentation here right so if you want to put the advertised ip address instead of like specifying the local host as default you could do that and then if you want to customize it you can have like if you have a docker compose file you can have like the message max byte and then kafka auto create like topics enable so if you put it to true it means that you can specify topics within it we we'll, we'll just look at that um, in a few minutes and then um and basically add your topics and then once the kafka spins up you can actually um uh, create the topics automatically yeah so it has like a lot of um, configurations you can specify some broker ids automatically create topics and you can see like once you set that um that into true you could actually create topics and then there's explanation to this thing so topic one will have one partition so topic one will have one partition and then three replicas so and then advertise host name you could actually put all these things there as well yeah so to summarize it i think they put like this is an example environment variable that you want to pass so you have like the host name command the kafka advertise listeners the kafka listeners kafka listeners security protocol all these things if you want to add you could add them but i think i didn't add most of these things but yeah so you could read the documentations from here all right so let me just show you the code quickly so the <clears throat> docker compose file the environment variable what we are passing is basically the kafka advertise host name the kafka zookeeper connect kafka auto create topics we set it to true because you want to create topics right so test topic it will have one partition and um, um basically yeah and then the kafka log retention hours we are using one hour so we want to delete the data um that we collect after every one hour because if you have like a lot of um channels uh, sending data all the time your text might, might be full so we want to set that to one hour so every one hour it will just um delete um the logs and then um kafka log segment byte and then kafka retention check interval so we just add these ones and then we specify volume and then we start we only restart it once it is stopped so this is basically what we have and to start it we let me just open the terminal quick and um, to start it so you can see the kafka advertise host name this is actually my laptop ip address so i could check that but um, this is actually my ip address so what i need to do is to just run docker compose app and then we're good to go docker compose app um i would run it in detached mode detached mode means you don't see the log so let me just do app and then see what's going to happen All right, so while it's running, up and running, I think it's um, it's already ready. Like it's ready already. So um, we could look at what, how we are going to interact with it. So for that, we are going to use a Python library um, called Kafka Python, right? So this is like the documentation. If you want to, here yeah, you install it, and then um, you create a consumer and. You, you could actually also create a producer and then send it out to a particular topic or a particular channel so that's basically this um and then um the code that um i wrote can be found here ktk docker sorry deploy kafka docker right so everything is here 
and then um so let's come back here and look at like we first need to look at the consumer so what the consumer is doing is that we are specifying the kafka server but first we imported the kafka consumer we actually don't need the producer request i'm not even using it so the kafka server we specify the topic or the channel name it's called test topic and then you could actually specify like a topic that you've not already created it so once um once you send data to that topic, um, the consumer will get the data from there. So we are just doing consumer equals Kafka consumer. So we want to make sure that the data that is coming, we are passing like a JSON kind of data. So JSON.load. Then the offset latest basically will take the latest value that is available. This has this offset um, has like a lot of, um, there's a lot that you could look at. Like, let me try to get the documentation um, offset. Yeah, so offsets, uh, I don't think it's this one. <laughs> yeah, so let me just do auto offset, yeah. So latest is the default one, I think. That's the default configuration. But um, you could you could specify other things like, um, let me see. Yeah, so smallest, earliest, and then largest, but the default is latest. So you could actually do smallest, earliest, and then the largest as well. I think this is duplicated. Let me see if there's any other one to look at. Okay, there's nothing to look at, but yeah. So that's that's basically the description over there. And it's a consumer that subscribe, wants to subscribe to a particular topic. And then while true, we return the data. And then, um, sorry, we get the data. So this next is basically getting the data for you. And then um, we print the data. And then we we also want to print the data the value so this is like a kafka kind of message that is coming this data and then when we do data dot value we get the json value that we send so we we'll look at it from the consumer side so from the producer side so down to kafka server and then the test topic and for that producer we want to basically dump it as a json so whichever um, um dictionary or maybe you're passing a dictionary and then we just pass it as a JSON object to the Kafka channel. So now we have like while true, I have some random values. I'm just trying to generate some random values and then we we pass the data. So I'm just trying to generate like a JSON um, a dictionary kind of, and then we push the data to be like a JSON data for to the Kafka topic. So now, so this is like a test data and then we are saying the random value because random value, we are taking it from choice random values. So every time we get like a new value from this one, and then we pass the timestamp as a string of date time that's now, and then we also pass the value status. I'm just, it's just like um, a logic that I'm just writing. So I'll, I'll just put high if the random value is greater than five, else low, then we can print the data. This will be like a JSON data. And then we do producer the same topic my data and the producer of flash three minutes so quickly let's do this um let's um let's run the python consumer first and then we run the python producer so once it produces you can see the data that is coming so this is like the data this is the data and then everything is there and then you could do anything that you want. So basically that's that's it. And then um, you can grab like the, the code from here as well. I'll put all the links in the description. All right, thank you guys. Um, see you in another video, bye.